Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Lars of Kill Date Nomad. So we have the Sapphire Nitro Plus 6900 XT special edition. So I had the Red Devil 6900 XT that was refurbished and it didn't really go so well. I had it replaced with the 6800 XT brand new, also Red Devil. Also was artifacting and it was crashing my server and all that. So I just bit the bullet, even though the GPU prices have gone down, I got the Nitro Plus 6900 XT special edition. So hopefully third time's the charm. All right, so let's open this up without further ado. We are gonna be testing this out. Hopefully there's no artifacting or crashing at this time. I really want this to work. Even though uh, Nvidia just announced their 4000 series card and I mean, the 4090 looks massive and all that, but I got this for around uh, $8, $20 and I have some uh, credits on my credit card and all that. So I made it even lower. So let's open this up. Very nice packaging, pretty heavy actually. And we have the standard or no, not standard, but this is the manual for Sapphire. All the stuff, the, there's Trix bias switching, Trix boost, hardware monitor, and then it shows the uh, display connector type right here. So display port, DVI, HDMI and all that. Okay, I'm more interested with the actual card itself. So this is for the Sapphire, and then uh, this is synchronized addressable RGB. So yeah, like the Red Devil, you can connect the RGB cable on the side if you wanna connect it to the motherboard itself and control it from the motherboard, but I'm not gonna do that. There's Trick software for that. Sapphire Nitro Gaming Series. There. So what's inside there are two screws, one support bracket. Okay, good. I'm curious about the support bracket and hopefully it will send because this is massive. Shows the instructions and how to put the, uh, the support bracket and all that all right let's take out what's inside okay here is the support bracket it has the sapphire logo in it yeah there are two screws inside and uh a couple of washers here is the support bracket put that down anything else before the card nope okay that's it now time for the main attraction right here Ooh, this is massive I think the Red Devil is bigger, if I'm not mistaken. It has beefier heatsink, but Sapphire has always been like, for me, in my opinion, like the number one AMD card to get. They always put the, one of the best qualities, uh, especially for AMD cards. They are exclusive for AMD. So with the um, Sapphire, this is always, I think, the Sapphire uh, fans. They have great fans, by the way. But with the special edition, I think this is RGB. So uh, the, the standard Sapphire fans don't have addressable RGB, but this one has three of them. So that is really, really good. On the side, oh, okay. It's a little bit different than the 5700 XT, but I'm gonna take it out so we can compare, you know, the size and all that. And it has the uh, Sapphire logo here. So I guess that's where also the LCD or uh, RGB there. On the top, it also has an RGB of the uh, Nitro logo right here. Then there's a Sapphire Nitro uh, RGB or LED right here. So this is a new one, uh, the 5700 XT I have, it doesn't have that. And then on the side, here's the PCIe slot. There's one connector right here, if I'm not mistaken, that you can plug in. Uh, yep, it's right over here. I'm not sure if you can see. That's where you plug in the RGB connector. So for the ports, I, yeah, there's three display port and one HDMI right here. And just to note, this is HDMI 2.1. The 6000 uh, series cards have HDMI 2.1 port. Let's take out the 5700 XT, also a Nitro Plus, and then we're gonna compare this one and I'm gonna put this on. All right, so I got the 5700 XT right here. This one, the smaller one are at the bottom if you're looking at the overhead camera. And this is the 6900 XT Nitro Plus as well. They're both Nitro Plus. There are a few differences. The 6900 XT has the Radeon logo right here while the 5700 XT doesn't. The Sapphire right here is more of an LCD type, while this one, just the LED with the Sapphire logo. This one also more like a screen one. I might have to peel this off, I'm not sure. For the length size, there's not much uh, length difference. Maybe, well, the 6900 XT is probably like half an inch longer than, this, than the 5700 XT. But I think it is a bit thicker. It comes around to like 2.5 inches, while the 5700 XT is about just shy of two inches. Lengthwise, the 6900 XT is uh, just like 12.5 inches, while the uh, 5700 XT is about a foot or 12 inches. So as you can see, the fans of the 6900 XT right here is a little bigger. It's also RGB. The 5700 XT, it's, I don't know, it's a little smaller. Also, the blades are a little different. 
uh, with this one. The 5700 XT, uh, this is not uh, RGB addressable or addressable RGB rather. It also has a few fewer blade fans and stuff, but nitro or sapphire fans are really, really good and you can easily replace them. Never had problems with the fan, by the way. But I'm more surprised that the uh, the heatsink is not much bigger, actually, to, well, compared to the 5700 XT. The Red Devil, that was massive. But I guess this is good. And then we're gonna have, we have this support bracket right here. Let's put this in the computer. All right, so I have tested the Nitro Plus 6900 XT for about an hour or two. And what I can say is that the card is gorgeous. I mean, I thought this 5700 XT looks good, but that special edition, really, really gorgeous with all the lightings and the uh, design and all that. I have a few pros and cons. Again, the design and the lighting looks really, really good. It's also big, but not that massive compared to the Red Devil. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. Well, I guess it does matter, especially if you have a compact or mid tower. So that is good that it's not as thick or not as big as the Red Devil. Compared to the 5700 XT, surprisingly, it's not that much of a difference. I mean, it's a little longer, maybe like a half an inch. I think the heat sink is also maybe like a quarter inch thicker. And you know, that's about that. The only other difference would be like, well, this extra four pin PCIe cable that you need for the power. You can play all 1440p at ultra or max settings, any games really, really good. It can also play most 4K games. I will test that, you know, in the next coming days and all that. I did test The Witcher 3. Everything 4K ultra settings, max settings, really, really good. It was hovering, I think, around 90 frames per second, 70 to 90 frames per second, but I digress. Now, I, I have a few cons on this. Not really a big deal, but like rather disappointment. Number one is the GPU bracket. I would say it's atrocious. I mean, for a very expensive card, the GPU bracket or the support bracket does not really fit well or properly to the, uh, especially to the dimensions of the 6900 XT. I think it's much fitted for like thinner heatsink or, you know, smaller GPUs for that matter. Even with the manual, it says to put this in that, I was having a hard time um, trying to place them in. I even have to angle the uh, support bracket just so that it won't hit the uh, the fan. So that's not a good thing. I don't, I hated the support bracket, but you know, I wanted to use it. The other con would be price is still a lot to be desired, uh, really expensive. Even though I got it for like 820 plus tax and then I got $40 off of my credit card and all that. Still very, very expensive. I can hardly justify that for most people. $800 is a lot for a GPU. I don't think most people will need it, especially if you have 1080p or 1440p monitor. Maybe 1440p, but now nah, it's, you know, you're better off with the 6800 XT. Even though the GPU prices have fallen, I think it's still expensive. The last one I think is uh, a bit of a con or a problem is that you need a very high wattage, high quality power supply. There are power spikes. You can check it all over the, you know, the big reviews and all that. This card really needs a high wattage, high quality power supply. And that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to smash the like button. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you have any feedback, comment down below. I'm Lars with Kilobit Nomad. See you in the next video.